now from Angel Stadium in Anaheim. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Chicago White Sox and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And the pitcher here today, Jose Suarez. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well Leading comes off. out of the, the same White tunnel. Sox. All three very Good deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. Here's Elvis Andrews. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. And now here is Zach Remillard. One down, base is empty. And the one two misses to even the count. Here's a two two. Battling here as he fouls it away. In the air, right field. Grabs it on the run. That's out number two. Batting third. The first base is number 25. Andrew Vaughn now. Vaughn. Next offering in the dirt. And that's ball two. On the ground, right side. Fletcher fires over to first. And that is that. Down in order go the White Sox. And now the Angels will get their first opportunity in this one. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Angel Stadium, today's starting pitcher, Jose Ureña. What's the scouting report on him? Four pitch guy he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance so we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold and something to back a little bit later maybe second third no time through the here. order and give them something they haven't seen it's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes swing and a miss and the count one and two. And he grounds one to the right side. To first, one gone, bottom half of the first. Batting second, not shortstop. And next for the Angels, number nine. Way inside, and that hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on-base percentage a little bit, and that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS, well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. Brandon Drury to the plate. Righty delivers. Rudder goes again. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Batting four. The catcher. Logan. 
Logan Ohapi, the next to hit. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Two outs. On a line, base hit. Run scores easily, and it's 1 0. Picks himself up an RBI. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Here's Joe Adele. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. Didn't go. Now this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the pass, and it's an issue once again early on. First and second, two down. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. Pitch misses there. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. And now, number 38. That one misses, and that'll bring home a run. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. The setting's definitely getting away from him. Two outs. Base is full. Here's David Fletcher. Line drive, base hit. In there, he's safe. Now a dive for the tag, and he gets him. But one run does score on the play before the inning ends. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. Second inning coming up from Anaheim. It's the Angels three, and the White Sox nothing. Back in Anaheim, now it's the right fielder, Gavin Sheets. You know, this is kind of a tough yeah, matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Here's a 1-1. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. You know, Boog, you often think of sliders more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. Started to go at the 2-1. Appeal down to first. No swing. Eric Summers go with the call. The 3-1. There's a strike. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most guys are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. Popped up right side. Bohapi snags it for the second out. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. And next to hit for the Sox, Lennon Sosa. And here it comes. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The one-two. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one-two-three. Nothing doing for the White Sox. They trail in this one, three-nothing. Bottom half of inning number and two, and stepping in is the speedy Brett Phillips. 
You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Now, biggest concern other than injury after a moment like that is just how the pitcher will respond. You know, sometimes a guy will lose confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. Gonna count one and two. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know, close holes that, you know, are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Righty to the plate. Just missed. Hoog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do can... To second, there's one on the ball. Two. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark, Lead Tyler ball Naquin to the plate. The left fielder, Tyler Naquin. The why to kick the pitch. To the right side. A dive. Nice stop. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. Nice diving stop right there. Gets the out. Great reactions. Excellent job of finishing the play with a nice easy throw. So up next for Chicago, Trace Thompson. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swing and a miss. Yeah, the count one and two. And now two and two. It's a good take. Two balls, two strikes. Check swing on the 2-2. Appeal to first. And he held up. Left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. Now it's the White Sox catcher. Number 36. Checks over to first. Back safely. The 1-1. One -one. Towards first. And it finds its way through for a hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. The bat. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Elvis Andrews. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. So first and second with two outs. Zach Remillard steps to the plate for the White Sox. The pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. Two 
drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one is gone. He sends a rocket to left, and it ties it up. It's 3-3. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. So two away with nobody on. And up next for Chicago, Andrew Vaughn. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Next pitch misses way outside. Rips one to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that ends the inning. Three-run bomb for the White Sox. We're tied now with three apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Set for the bottom of the third. So in now for the Angels, Brandon Drury. Brandon. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. And a pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. The catcher number and next for L.A., Logan Ohapi. Doubled his first time up. Back to work. 3-2 now. Good job to fight that one off. 3-2 and two now. And that's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I'll tell you what, he earned that ball. Runner on at first with one gone. And next for the Angels, Joe Adele. Inside, just missed. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Number 68 is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Number 67, the lefty, warming up as well. And the right-hander deals. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. So first and second with one man gone. Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Eduardo Escobar. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Here's a 2-2. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases, and that gets all the way to the wall. One runs in. Runner holds a third, so just one across on the play. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. It's always fun to see a double rip down the line. That one just barely stayed fair, so that was a good call by the umpire. He was all over it. Number 38, the next to hit for the Angels. Just off the inside edge. Adele, the runner at third. Escobar over at second with one down. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. He just hasn't had great command of his pitches in this one. Definitely more walks than you'd like to see. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Jose Ureña won't go any further tonight, and he leaves with the bases loaded, so he'll look for some help from his teammate coming in behind him.
White Sox going with a new arm. Number 68. Really tough spot to come into out of the bullpen. Bases loaded with multiple outs to get in a tight ball game. A lot can happen right here. Here's the second baseman. David Fletcher singled and drove in a run his first time through. Next offering is in for a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Brett Phillips. He was plunked in his first trip to the plate. Three and two now. On the ground, right side. In time, Devon. Inning over. Angels get one on this double. It's now a 4-3 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Gavin Sheets. Kicks and deals. And now one and two. You know, these White Sox showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Tried to check his swing there, appeal to third, and Joe McDonald says he won a round. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. He popped out his first time. Next pitch is outside. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Dives and he can't hang on. The throw is still in time. So a tough play, but they do get out number two. And next to hit for the Sox, Lennon Sosa. His first at bat was a strikeout. High fly ball out into left center field. Phillips makes the grab on the run. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They still trail it here, four to three. Bottom four, Randall Gritchick now. For the Angels, the left fielder, Randall Gritchick. And the righty deals. Two balls, one strike. Pitch is in for a strike. Two and two now. Right-hander kicks deals. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed. And you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. The pitch. Check swing. He went. And the count is one and two.
This one lifted in the air left field. He's there. He's got it. And there's two down. Now batting. First base is Brandon. Two outs. Base is empty. Brandon Drury the next to hit for the Angels. One one now. Smoked on the ground a second. Whips it to first. That is the inning. Angels held in check, but they hang on to a one run lead, 4 3. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Tyler Naquin. Kicks and fires. Next offering misses down and away. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Jaime Berea getting ready to go. Number 71 warming up as well. Next pitch misses. And a full count now. Trace Thompson up next. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. No outs. Runner at first. Trace Thompson steps to the plate for the White Sox. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And a pitch. In the air right field. Pretty well struck. Adele on the move. Racing back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Here's the catcher. Number 36. Singled and scored his first time. In there. And so now one, one and two with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough. And played right into the hands of the pitcher. So the lineup flips over. Now Elvis Andrews. Swing and a miss. And out two and two. Naquin, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. So a man left for the White Sox. Score holds at 4-3. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Luis Patino. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Leading off, Logan Ohapi. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. And down on strikes he goes. One out. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter. But with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Joe Adele, the next to hit for the Angels. And a pitch. Line drive. And he beats the throw very close right there. Boog, he doesn't care how he does it. He just wants to get on base. And when he does, that puts him in a position to do some damage, put some pressure on the defense as well. His wheels are truly a weapon out there.
Eduardo Escobar, the next to hit for the Angels. Right handed reliever. And that's in there at the knees. Here comes a pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. pitch ground ball left side could be two Andrews to second double play what a twin killing to end the inning one hit in the inning but nothing more than that we're through five Angels four and the White Sox three back and they make a change to start the sixth the new pitcher Jaime Berea these are the You're spots right. relievers really make now a name for themselves the late and close there's not much margin right, for right. error but at the same time oh, there's a reason they're put in these situations Zach Remillard steps to the plate for the White Sox he's already homered here in this one the line of the pitch that one misses Two and one. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Chase Silson, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Number 59, getting cranked up as well. The wind and the pitch. Andrew Vaughn waits on deck. The pitch. Into center, Phillips settles under this one, hauls it in, and there's one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. The 1 1. And there's a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Got it by him for the K. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And now the right fielder, Gavin Sheets. One two now. Swing and a miss struck him out. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. Angels four and the White Sox three. Bottom of the sixth inning. And here's the third baseman, number 38. The third baseman. Michael. Swing and a miss. One and two. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball, pitch after pitch in that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. In for a strike, two and two. Got him. That's the second out. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Now Tried to sit that. in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Brett Phillips digs in now. 
I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, right. that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. And now two and two. And down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Top of inning number seven. So now it's the White Sox DH. Yes, Monty Grandal. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. And this is inside. The 2 2 now. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Squeezes it. One away. Lennon Sosa now at the plate. The 1 1. And a foul ball. Here's a one two. That's the third. Throw to first is in time. And two away to start the seven. Now the left hander, Tyler Naquin. So two down now, and here is Tyler Naquin. And now two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Ground ball to the right side, and it goes just foul. 2-2 two -two now. That one drifts inside. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. This to center field. Phillips makes the catch inning over. Down in order, go the White Sox. Still down a run. It's 4 3. Declan Cronin gets the call from the pen. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. Randall Gritchick getting ready to hit. Randall Gritchick. Next offering upstairs. Two balls, one strike. And strike two. Two balls, two strikes. The punch out there and one out now. Well, really nice job of finishing the hitter off right there. Glove side command, fastball firm to the outside corner. Tell you what, very difficult to do anything with that pitch, even if you do swing. Stepping in, number nine. The count two and one. Fouled off down the right side. And here it comes. 
Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Swing and a ball popped up. And it falls. So a man aboard now with one away. One gone, a runner at first. So in now for the Angels, Brandon Drury. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Here's a one two. That one lifted to left. Naquin drifts towards it, puts it away for the out. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and that's wasn't that's able to stay close. So now the Angel cleanup hitter, Logan O'Hoppy. The pitch. Called strike right there. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Check on the runner, and he's back in there. Two outs. The count is full. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Here comes a 3-2. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Sosa should have this one. And makes the play, and that's out number three. So one hit is all they get. We look ahead to inning number eight. Angels four and the White Sox three. Jimmy Hergit gets the ball now. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. Number 46, Jimmy. Well, one run game. Trace Thompson digs in now. And they've got the no doubles defense set up. Outfielders playing deep, infielders guarding the lines. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Number 36 steps to the plate for the White Sox. Payoff pitch. Got him looking. And one away. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Elvis Andrews steps to the plate for the White Sox. So now three and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeout. So... They haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And now, Zach Remillard. He's already homered in this game. That one finds the corner. It's a ball and two strikes. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Thompson leads off first with two down to the inning. Swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. Here's the 2 2. Laser could be extra bases. Around second on his way to third. 
coming home. He'll score and they've tied it. It's four to four. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Andrew Vaughn, the next to hit. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Tied at four. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Aaron Bummer. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Now it's the right fielder, Joe Adele. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Slice down the right side. Bomber deals. And that misses off the outside edge. Eduardo Escobar up next for the Angels. Three two on the way. Ground ball right side, and it's just foul. That was close. Tied at four. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now that's a really dangerous base runner to put on first, especially in a tie game. Now there might be some consequences coming from that mistake. No outs, runner at first. Eduardo Escobar, the next to hit for the Angels. At the belt and fires. Nope, at the ball. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. On the ground, could be two. Feed to second, that's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. And next for L.A., number 38. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Kicks and deals. Hard hit, base hit. And the go-ahead run into scoring position. One away. Really nice job of two-strike hitting in that at-bat. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. And now, David Fletcher. The next pitch misses, and it's 2-1. and one. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two-ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And there's a ball. Brett Phillips in the on-deck circle. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. And they're all loaded up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Angels making a move for a pinch hitter. Chad Wallach, and he's got the go-ahead run out there and scoring position for him. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. And a pitch. 
that one down the line. Diving, and he can't make the play. One runs in, Naquin fires it to the plate, not in time. He's safe. As two runs score, they've got the lead. One of the hardest things to do in the game, to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity, and he came through for his club right there. Pitching change here, Tanner Banks. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. So the batting order turns over. Randall Gritchick, the next to hit for the Angels. And it's filled up. pitch fouled off again and it remains three and two swings through it and that's a strikeout well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight I mean finding all the holes in his swing and his approach just frustrating for him up there you strike out a guy three times in a game I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. One Swing and a miss, and the count one and two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Garrett Crochet, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss, and that is that. A couple of runs in the inning puts them ahead. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Angels six and the White Sox four. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Carlos Estevez. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. So coming into the game now on defense, Mickey Moniak. He'll be patrolling center field. And now the right fielder, Gavin Sheets. And the right-hander deals. Little chopper rolls foul. Left-hand hitter waits. Fouls it back with two strikes. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Two balls, two strikes. And that just misses. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Righty to the plate. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Hey. Got him looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the guys that are playing behind you that you know you're going to wrap this thing up righty delivers bounce to the right Fletcher that takes care of Grandel Lennon Sosa steps to the plate for the White Sox The pitch flips the corner, and it's one and two. Got him looking. That's the ball game. 
Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4 to four for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shelby. Thanks for joining us.